Alright guys, just a quick video um, to kind of like go over the introduce yourself assignment. Um, I had to wait until everybody had, had deposited their um, assignment before I could kind of do this, which is why it took me so long. But my name's John McDamer. Um, remember before uh, teaching here at Stark State, uh, I was director of IT over the North Cape Medical Foundation for like eight years. Um, before that, I was a network administrator over at Akron General Health System. Um, and before that, I managed the help desk at Akron General Health System. And before that, um, I was at the help desk. So I worked at the help desk, and then I became the help desk manager, which they call the telecommunications manager uh, or telecommunications administrator, something like that. Uh, and then I became uh, the network guy. Uh, and then I got a job as a director of IT, and, and then you see so you see how that happened. Um, as far as degrees, um, I have a degree. I have an associate from Kent State. Uh, I only went three years to Kent. I, I didn't like it. Uh, I went two years to uh, Kent Stark, loved it, uh, and then I went to the main campus for a year and hated it. Um, stadium seating, uh, 145 students. Uh, the professor came out. He talked for 45 minutes, and then he disappeared, and the class was over. And he never even knew your name. So. Uh, coming from a place like Stark State, um, that was really weird for me. So don't forget, um, Kent State Stark and Stark State are very similar, you know, very small classrooms, you know, 30 or less students, that kind of stuff. Um, but over at the main campuses like Akron and uh, Kent, uh, there's a lot of class, especially the general studies classes, that are stadium seating. You'll, you'll be in there with, you know, uh, over 100 other students, uh, and you'll never even talk to the instructor. So after that, then I finished my bachelor's at Malone, um, which is a nice school. Um, very pricey, though. Uh, so then when I went to my master's, I, I went to Franklin University in Columbus. Uh, and then I got my master's. So my master's is a, a, an MBA, which is a business administration. All right, then my hobbies um, are uh, video games. Video games kind of got me into networking. Um, I was working at Wendy's, again, oh, two decades ago. Um, with a friend, and he had been an IT guy like at some place, and then he, that place kind of like closed up because there were a lot of little mom and pop shops, and that place closed up. So he was trying to become a manager, uh, and I was a trading store manager for Wendy, so I trained their managers. Hey, when he came through, we became friends, and then when he got sent to his store, um, the store that he went to had a very tight knit group, and they, uh, when he came over, they kind of put him all on nights, and he hated it, so he left and got an IT job. And so for years, he was like, "Dude, you need to come to IT," and I'm like, "No, I'm not smart enough." But yet, we, him, he, and I would play video games, and we would do modem strings and a bunch of other stuff uh, to get some of these games to work, because this is way before the internet was a big thing. You know, back then, uh, I don't even think they had the internet back then. Uh, well, they did. Uh, but it was very pricey. Like you had to pay two ninety nine an hour, and then you had to use a service like CompuServe or AOL. Um, and actually, AOL was huge way back in the day. But anyway, so I digress. So um, that um, I'm a former military guy. I have eleven years active service uh, in the army. Uh, I was a uh, an infantry grunt. Woo -hoo. I tend to go out every once in a while and, and shoot. Um, I like Glocks. Um, I haven't really shot a Beretta. well. I've shot a Beretta before, but I just don't own one. Uh, I got two little boys that are 10 and 6, like playing with them. All right, and then for you guys, Brooks, you and I know each other. We've had classes together. Mark, you're just freaking me out, dude. <laughs> you're running around talking about how many people you're going to stab and stick grenades up their butts. You are a trip. I'm glad to have you in class. Debbie, how are you even old enough to have four teenage boys? I mean, really? I've had you in class before, and there's no way that you're old enough to have four teenage boys. That, and I just found out you're my Hartville homie. All right. Lawrence. Lawrence, I assume because you wrote Larry Johnson that you go by Larry, so I'm going to start calling you Larry. If that's a problem, let me know. And I'm right there with you on kids' activities. You know, if you just, if you have two kids, and they both have an activity, like, like my kids go to Taekwondo, um, and then in the springtime, uh, my one little boy goes to baseball. Well, baseball is three times a week, and Taekwondo is two times a week, and then you can optionally go on Saturday. So that's six days a week just for, you know, each kid to have one activity. So it can get very busy. And then is your name pronounced Queeron? Is, is that correct? So Queeron Wimley? Um, dude, I don't know what it's like coming back to school with, you know, I was a non-traditional student. I went to Kent for three years, uh, left for like, you know, five, eight years, and then came back in my late 20s um, going to Malone. Uh, so I definitely know what it's like to have kids and come back to college, and it's a lot tougher. So I feel you, man. Uh, and I think you're going to like the computer programming stuff. Um, 
as a networking guy with networking everything kind of has a, like a solid place uh, you have to do things a certain way uh, there, there's really no kind of thinking that well there's thinking out of the box when you're designing but when you're actually implementing um, there are specific ways to implement spanning tree there are specific ways to turn on OSPF for the routing protocol but it really leaves no room for creativity where with programming programming is so awesome as long as my code does what it's supposed to do um, it doesn't matter whether I have 50 lines of code or 250 lines of code. Um, so I can do all kinds of neat things. So I guess I, I like the programming things. I'm just moving over to that because uh, it gets, just gives me more creativity options. So nice to meet you. All right, I think Jennifer dropped. And Savannah. Savannah, what games do you play? Do you play PC games? What, how many games do you have on your Steam account? Just on my Steam account alone, I have 120 games. Uh, Steam always gets me with their summer sale, uh, and occasionally on the Christmas sale, but their summer sale is so good. Um, I probably have like uh, maybe 14 games that I have purchased on the summer sale and have never played. So, Savannah, I look forward to hearing more about your gaming. And then Joseph. Joseph, that's an interesting name. Joseph Bluehawk uh, Andres. Um, you're going to have to let me know how you how your parents picked that middle name for you. And then, Joseph, what kind of models do you build? Um, uh, science fiction ships, uh, military models, uh, things like that. Uh, I know when I was a little kid, I was in a modeling club, so every month my model would come. Um, but I always got a weird variety. Like, I, I hated the cars. Um, I loved, like, battleships and things like that because they were so cool and detailed. All right, so again, nice to meet you guys all. Uh, remember, this is my first time teaching this help desk class. Um, again, I was the Cisco guy uh, for years here at Stark State. Um, I just moved over to the programming side, uh, so you kind of have to work with me a little bit. Now that I realize the on the web um, activities have some broken links, um, I'm going to try to go through those ahead of you guys um, and remove any of the broken links that I find. So don't forget my office hours, um, Mondays, uh, 9 to noon, and Fridays, 9 to noon. Um, but again, if you have any questions, just email me, uh, and I'll see what we can work out together. All right, just uh, welcome to the class again, and I'll see your post. Thanks, guys.